Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of June 2024. I'm going to pull an eight card spread, see who pops up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. Whether it's somebody new or someone you already know right now, Scorpio, my job is to see who you're connecting to this week, what your story is with this person, what your lessons are together, whether you have a soul contract together see your feelings for each other, get their intentions. Pretty much your girl gets really, really freaking nosy. With that, I do not sugarcoat my readings. I give the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. So your job is to only take what resonates with you, leave what does not resonate out the door, never give your power away to tarot cards. You're in full control over your decisions and you're never tied and bound to any outcome in, in, in any reading. Not that I have to tell you, Scorpio, but gentle reminders are things that I appreciate every day. Um, so with that all being said, let's get newsy. I love reading for Scorpios. You guys always give me like exciting readings. I don't know why. It's always Scorpios that give me the, the juicy stuff. <laughs> all right, Spirit, please tap into the energy of Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Ah, get over here. Who are they connecting to? What's their story with this person? And how will it all unfold for the week ahead? Scorpio is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today. As long as what comes through is for their highest and greatest good. Jeez. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful Scorpios. All right, so you got a bonus card. The two of pentacles wanted to hop out. Some of you Scorpios are in a situation where you're kind of like, you know, contemplating something. You're going back and forth. You're you're looking at a situation in many different angles. You're being very analytical. Some of you guys may have Virgo in your rising or in your Mercury. You're just coming in as somebody that's like dissecting something or someone to make sure that someone's not trying to pull the wool over your eyes or that you're not going to fall f flat on your face in some regard and be like, what just happened? Why did I let this happen to me? I am more intuitive than this. What the fudge? All right, so I will clarify that. Some of you might be juggling two different people. You have two different people trying to get your attention and you're trying to like talk to each one in the early talking stage and you're not really sure what you want yet. So let's see what comes through in your spread. So the person that you're dealing with this week, how do they feel about you? We have the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands as feelings tells me that somebody is really excited every time you reach out to them. Somebody gets excited every time they see a text come in from you or a, a DM on social media. They just get really excited. There's a lot of physical attraction. There's a lot of sexual attraction. There's a lot of chemistry that this person is feeling towards you. Some of you guys could be in that early texting stage and others you have been ongoing with this person for some time now and things are starting to pick up speed. Could be a fire sign, does not have to be. That is the energy of Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's take a look at their intentions. The King of Cups, wow. Okay, so with the King of Cups being this person's intentions and their feelings being the Eight of Wands, you've got someone that's maturing in regards to their feelings for you, okay? And they may be wanting to start expressing their feelings to you a bit more and maybe this is you trying to figure out how you feel about them in return. I'll pull your feelings for them in a second. Um, there's th this energy of them wanting to just show up more nurturing for you, okay? It's like the more that they talk to you, the more that they realize that they like a lot of qualities in you, that there's a lot about you that stands out from the rest of the crowd. They're really intrigued by you, okay? Could be a fellow water sign that is the energy of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's take a look at their next actions this week the two of cups, you've got someone really in, in love with you or feeling like it's getting that way every time that they pick up their phone or text you. And all of a sudden I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it on your end, Scorpio, but my breathing is like all of a sudden it's struggling. Unless my sports bra is way too tight. <laughs> I feel like I need to get a new one, hold on. Um, it's just, I give everything on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hold back anything. Anyway, so you got someone that's feeling like you may be a soulmate of theirs and they want to get closer to you. For some, this is a same-sex connection. That's not going to be for everybody. But um, that's Cancerian energy and we just now officially start a cancer season. So it's like someone's emotions for you are starting to mature every time you guys talk to each other. So it's like the communication you guys have 
is really intense where you're really being open with this person and it's it kind of reminds me of that show love is blind where the first two weeks they're like already ripping the band-aid and getting to all the nitty-gritty conversations where the emotions are high everyone's starting to fall in love really quickly things like that if you haven't seen that show i highly recommend it but it's like this person is just like you you both are being vulnerable with each other around this time frame which is making it very difficult to not fall in love with you or to uh, mature these feelings. Let's take a look at how you feel about them. How does Scorpio feel? The Eight of Swords. So when the Eight of Swords shows up as feelings, you're telling me that you feel very restricted on what you can have with this person. You feel like your hands are tied in some regard. Um, whether it's because you got more than one option and you're like, oh crap, this person's already falling in love with me. What do I do? Because I kind of still like the other person. Or this person might be unable to like give you something that you're wanting from them. I will clarify that, don't worry. But the Eight of Swords is just telling me that you feel in your head and confused about the future of this relationship. And notice how you both got eights as your feelings. And we are in the year of number eight, if you break down the year 2024 numerically, Scorpio. Two plus zero plus two plus four is eight. Eight is the year of change. Eight is the year of karma. Eight is the year of things just really picking momentum, things becoming more clear if they're gonna be successful or a flop, all right? And eight of swords plus eight of wands equals 16. 16 is the number of the tower, which is your major arcana. So if something doesn't get resolved very soon, it's like summoning a tower because the universe does not like it when we're stuck and staying isolated in a situation because the eight of swords is all about staying stuck. We're made up of 70% water. We're always supposed to be constantly in a state of flow. In the flow. So if you're dealing with somebody where the attraction is there, the flirtation is there, the feelings are there, but you're not moving anywhere, things need to change. Okay? I need to find out what is keeping this stuck. So let's take a look. What is the challenge here for Scorpio and this person? The death card. Has something not ended for something new to begin, Scorpio? Hmm. And if that's not the case, the death card, when it shows up in the challenge position, I read it in reverse. And the death card in reverse to me is something not changing. Whether a behavior hasn't changed or no matter how much you guys communicate with each other, the relationship seems to stay the same. It's like how long do we have to be in the talking stage, right? We've been talking for three months. I should be your girlfriend by now. I should be your boyfriend by now. That sort of thing. Um, I should be your wife by now, your husband by now. We've been dating for two years. What the heck? That could be what I'm getting. And for others, it is telling me that something needs to end for something new to begin in its place. Whether that's telling me you still have feelings for an old relationship and this person's being all open with you but you're not being all open with them because you're missing someone from your past. Or, or, you know what the or could be, Scorpio. I'll let you fill in the blank, all right? But this is where clarifying will help me. Because I'm not getting strong evidence of a third party situation, but I can't rule it out either. Um, so let's just see what your weekly outcome is. The Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords is getting that clarity, getting that communication with your special person that helps you get out of your head a little bit. So maybe this person's got some information that might help you get out of your head over here. All right, the Eight of Swords plus Ace of Swords is the Nine of Swords. So it's like you're just feeling like some pending doom to your relationship because there's this underlining issue that you feel like needs to be resolved before you can freely come forward to this person. It's like you don't want to show up as the Queen of Cups yet until you know that you actually are going to get what you want out of the situation. Because once a Scorpio falls in love, there's no going back. You guys are all or nothing. You either love someone really hard or you hate someone really hard. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Uh, Scorpios rarely are friends with their exes. It's, it's rare, it could happen, but it's very rare. Um, it's like I either love you or I hate you. No in between when it comes to a Scorpio. You guys are real as F. Um, let's take a look at your advice. Six of Swords. So your advice is to tread lightly, to be very 
careful with how you approach the situation. Um, the Six of Swords is also the energy of coming out of the Five of Swords energy, which could tell me that maybe you and this person had some conflict between the two of you, whether due to other people and not necessarily you guys fighting with each other, or there was some gossip in the situation, other people putting in their little opinions, or feeling like a smear campaign was already being casted on your relationship with this person because maybe someone started dating you while they were still getting through a breakup and they don't feel that that was the right way to start things like that everyone having their two cents so let's see what's the overall energy influencing your love life the six of cups so the six of cups could also be telling me that this was a love from your past that has come back to your life and you're like oh man crap this person's back what do i do and for others, someone's past is affecting your present relationship with this person, whether your past or their past. And if that's still not the situation, um, there could have been a pause in communication between you and this person that has left you both like in a state of nostalgia and also mental confusion, okay? And then I'm also seeing the devil show up which could imply that someone feels like they're driving down the wrong way of a one-way street, heading towards a do, do not enter sign, and someone's scared that they're choosing a person that's going to end up causing them a lot of stress. So I might have a Scorpio that's like, yeah, this person's good looking and all, but is this person going to bring me a lot of mental anguish, a lot of mental exhaustion? Am I really getting myself into something that's going to bring me a lot of happiness, or am I gonna fall flat on my face and regret my decision so a lot of things to unpack here Scorpio I feel like I have like a swarm of different Scorpios depending on your deacon um, coming through this reading today and I got goosebumps I don't know if you can see it my camera is forgetting there you go little chicken skin over there um, five of wands there could be some jealousy surrounding you and this person people are jealous of the connection you guys have the bond you guys share and they're trying to like get in between it <clears throat> I also see someone moving. Someone may be planning a move to be closer to you or you to them. There could be a move because I'm seeing that for sale sign, whether it's, you know, mortgage on a home, leasing a home, apartment, whatever the case may be, there may be a change of residence. Okay? Because I am seeing travel with that six of swords. All right, so let's break it down, Scorpio. I'm gonna start with your person's feelings for you. It's like their feelings keep growing for you as time goes on. And now I see a suitcase. So for some, if this person lives at a distance, they may pack a suitcase from time to time to come visit you, or you guys are planning a trip together. Going on a little um, summer weekend getaway or something like that. Why the Eight of Wands? Why the Eight of Wands? Why the Eight of Wands? Oh, and the death card is the number eight. So look at all those repeated eights. Some of you, August might mean something to you in this person's relationship. Um, hmm. Judgment, scorpionic energy, the three of wands. This person may be holding off on taking some sort of leap of faith with you because they need to review their judgment on the situation. Because judgment is past energy. It's reviewing the past, forgiving the past, making decisions based off of the past, and making peace with the past as well. So if this person does have a link to their past relationships unrelated to you, they may be trying to make a decision on purging that relationship to come towards you and you're scared that they're not going to choose you or that's flipped. Um, but judgment is also about second chances. Can you forgive me again? So if this is someone that's making a return with that Six of Cups and you're confused about whether or not you should give them another chance or, or just to drop the situation, they may be like, hey Scorpio, can you just give me another chance? I miss you. You know, they could be saying something like that. Um, you definitely have a choice to make this week, it feels like Scorpio, where you're weighing out the pros and cons of the situation, okay? All right, let's take a look at why you feel the Eight of Swords, because I feel like you're gonna give me a lot of insight. That is Gemini energy, hello. Speaking of Gemini, the lovers and the Page of Cups. That's Gemini energy, and we just now left Gemini season, so you may have felt stuck the entire Gemini season with this situation, and you're like, 
Spirit, please give me some reprieve. I'm sick of being in my head about this person. What do I do here? Some of you guys could be single moms, single dads, and you're trying to get back out into the, the dating world and you're trying to meet someone that's actually going to be a supportive step parent to, to your kids. And if they're already grown, you just, you may be dating someone that already has kids from a previous marriage too, or a previous relationship. Um, and you're wondering how this person is going to blend into your family. Seven of Wands came out and then the lovers came back. Seven of Wands, which is Leo energy and the lovers is Gemini. You feel like you have to fight for this relationship. Okay, whether you feel like you have to put up boundaries with this person, Scorpio, or um, you have to defend your choice and love with that lover's card. Maybe you're telling family, you know, this is why I'm with this person, or this is why I chose to be with them. You'll never understand our relationship, or you feel like they have to do that with you. But why? Why is everybody in your business? You know, they should be minding their own biscuits here. You know, oh, that reminds me of that one song by Casey Musgrave. Mind your own biscuits, because then your life will be gravy. That is the cutest line I've ever heard. Um, I've been starting to recently listen to country music. Anyway, so Scorpio, I feel like you've got a lot of people in your business right now, and it's stressing you out. It's putting a lot of pressure on you. So maybe you post a lot on Facebook, Instagram, and people are like watching what you post about your relationship, and they're like, you know, commenting on your situation. Or if you live a very private life, um, that could be just friends and family being like, Scorpio, are you sure you want to talk to this person? Are you sure you want to do all this? Or are you sure this person's really going to be committing to you? Things like that. So this person's intentions with you, Scorpio, is the King of Cups. Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups? All right, I'm getting a side note. This is definitely not going to be for everybody. Holy shit, my voice started to get all raspy. Maybe that's a sign I should keep that to myself. <clears throat> I started to sound like Marge Simpson after a pack of smokes. Um, I was about to make mention to something and all of a sudden my throat started to like be crunchy. Yeah, I'll leave that part alone. Never mind. I was going to say something. All right. Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups as the intentions? Ah, screw that. I still want to say it. Um, Scorpio, for some of you, you may be dating someone that is a widower or you are and someone's scared to already be moving on if the death was very recent. If so, my condolences to whoever lost their family member. Or simultaneously, someone may be going through a loss of a grandmother or a parent or something like that and it's really stressing somebody out. That's, that's not for everybody, okay? So clarifying this person's intentions, I got the Queen of Swords. So the King of Cups to the Queen of Swords tells me that this person intends to be emotional with you, open with you, but also very clear and direct on something. Um, sometimes that Queen of Swords to me represents an ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, because there's no genders in my readings. Men come up as queens all the time in my readings. But it's just like someone's wanting to be vulnerable about maybe a previous relationship that's still being healed, which doesn't make sense because the King of Cups as intentions tells me that someone's already at the, the space that they need to be in emotionally to step into a new relationship. Because when you're at the King of Cups in the upright position, you're, you're healed from past relationships. You're ready to explore your emotional side. But wait a minute, that's this person's intentions position. So maybe their intentions is to get to that King of Cups level where they're finally over their ex or finally over some sort of ordeal. Hmm. Interesting. The Wheel of Fortune. So that's the intent to see change. That's the intent to see something big change. Like when the Wheel of Fortune comes in, that is like, like a tsunami of a current situation. Like something is going through a purge, so that way everything can clear away, and then a rebuilding of something. And that's kind of what the judgment card does too. The judgment is my cleaning out my closet card. You know, you got to clean out your closet of clothes that you don't wear anymore to fit in the new wardrobe you want to wear. So if someone's wanting to get much closer to someone emotionally, but their emotions are all 
jam-packed with hardships and pain from the past, there's no space for new love to come in without the old, you know, painful stuff to really taint the new beautiful stuff, if you catch my drift. Okay, let's take a look at the death card as the challenge for you and this person. Hold on one second. All right, I want to drink my coffee before it gets all watery. Why the death card? The Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, for a good 10% of you, someone's still pulling away from another situation. I can't avoid it. I can't avoid it. Someone that someone has kids with or someone that someone has a, a big history with, whether you or this person. Okay, that's not going to be for everybody, but I'm getting a good 10% of you are watching this going, yep, yep, yep. You know, whoever this person is, Scorpio, you really want a feature with this person, but something needs to change first. Something needs to change first. Um, and if there's no, absolutely no third parties involved in the romantic sense, um, you and this person are talking to each other about maybe the stuff that you guys allow to come in between the two of you and you guys are trying to sort things out. Maybe you guys allowed work to get in, in the way of your relationship. Maybe someone was very focused on their career and decided to walk away from the relationship and, and not give to it. And maybe someone's deciding to return to it because they never stopped thinking about somebody. You know, why the Two of Cups as behavior? The Five of Cups, someone's hurt. Somebody's hurt and it's connecting to the past. And then I see the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Somebody's hurt in regards to the past. Someone's wanting to share this 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 hurt. And also, my I almost couldn't get my, my words out. My voice was just like clamped. Someone's wanting to tell you something, okay? Connecting to some past pain. Whether you hurt them or something hurt them that's kind of like stalling something. Someone's getting ready to like be completely vulnerable. And when you look at this card's art depiction, Scorpio, it shows a dog on a gurney and his surgeon's looking at his x-ray noticing that there's a sore penetrating his heart, indicating that just because I look healthy doesn't mean I don't have internal pain. So it's like this person's coming to you being like, Scorpio, just because I'm smiling at you doesn't mean that I don't have a lot of pain inside. You know, this is what's going on with me. You know, someone's wanting to be very vulnerable. Why the Ace of Swords? Five of Pentacles. Someone's going to be talking about their fear of abandonment. Someone's got a, a, an abandonment wound, whether you or this person or the both of you. Someone feels like every time that they become vulnerable and fully take in someone's love, then they get abandoned. It's like everybody I love always leaves. Why? You know, so it makes me afraid to ever love because I know it's going to be a pattern of love to this person. I guess I'm going to expect them to leave soon, you know, or somebody feels like they're on the outside watching someone live their life, right? Whether this is you or your person, someone's looking inside of the window, metaphorically speaking, of course, to their person, maybe still with another, living what appears to be their life, okay? So your advice, Scorpio, is the Six of Swords. Now, if you're in no contact with somebody right now, Scorpio, or the situation is kind of wonky and confusing, I will pull your person's hidden feelings for you in a couple moments, okay? Why the Six of Swords? The Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups. So it looks like Cancer season because this is heavy Cancer energy. You're going to be able to move past the situation that was stressing you out and get a chance to like have a fresh new start in some way. Whether a fresh new start with you and you dating new people or a fresh new start with you and this person and getting past a situation that was coming in as a drag to your situation. Okay, let's clarify this two of pentacles. Some of you guys are working multiple jobs or you're just a very busy person, but you got it balanced. Why the two of pentacles? The king of cups and the star. Look at that. And then I see the king of swords. Some of you Scorpios do have a choice between this king of swords and the king of cups. All right, Re regardless of what the situation is, there's something you're trying to manifest in your life, Scorpio, and it looks like you're getting what you're wishing for. Just lead with integrity, follow your moral compass, and you can't go wrong. All right, do what you wouldn't mind other people seeing you doing out in the public, okay? All right. Hidden message. 
For zodiac signs that pop through this reading today, I have strong Scorpio. So it definitely could be a Scorpio and Scorpio. And oh my goodness, <laughs> Scorpio and Scorpio connections are very fun. Um, could be a Cancerian, could be a fixed sign, a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Aquarius. Um, Virgo is here and Gemini, but it could be any zodiac sign, okay? Do check out your June monthly and the weekly I did for you, Scorpio. It's in my June playlist. Those monthlies go really, really in depth and you might be able to connect more dots, okay? And every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs Their Feelings For You spread. I will link the most recent one I did down in the description box below this video. All you have to do is click on that All Signs link and then click on the timestamp for Scorpio's reading and you'll get another read like this, but you see my face and I'm more interactive on those. And at the time I'm recording this, I go live tomorrow morning. Today is Saturday. Uh, what else? Oh, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a prior reading, the link to my website is in the description box below of every video, BadisonIntuitiveTarot.com. That's two Ds, not one for Badison. My heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you've lost faith in me. For some of you, you've got someone that keeps on like getting your hopes up and then pulling away, getting your hopes up, then pulling away. It's like an on and off again type of situation. Everywhere I go, I look around as if you'll magically be there. Some of you guys might live at a distance or they miss you so they see your face everywhere. I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. Yeah, some of you, this person judged you and you're like confused about the whole situation now. Our beliefs were just too different. I couldn't reconcile mine to yours. All right. Something was challenging someone's belief in a situation, um, someone's faith. All right. So I hope this reading helps. Do me a favor and smile into your cheeks, heart. I'll check back with you for your next weekly update or it might be your July monthly. I'm not sure yet. Um, so yeah, till then, love ya, take care.